our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Miyachi. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Ready to fight? Ready. Well, his last fight will be a tough act to follow as we get ready for round one here. Brutal knockout his last time out and that positioned him for this opportunity here tonight. So, can he keep the momentum going as the challenges get stiffer, keep the winning streak intact, and of course try to get another win by knockout to take his popularity soaring to another level. Left hook coming, it's blocked. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. And they are exchanging leather early. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Nice hook. Oh, there's that kick, and it lands. Oh, nice left hook. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, that's big. Oh, misses with the jab. Blood dripping now from the lip. Circling away towards the left now. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this one. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, leading with the right hand. You don't see that every day. It was certainly effective for him there. If you're going to throw your power hand first, got to be very aware not to get counted. Checks that leg kick. Nice connection on the counter punch there. And oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Changes his stance. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Perfect execution on that team. Under two minutes to go. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect... Oh, no! pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. All right. Let's keep it up. Hey. Swing and a miss by Page. Under a minute to go. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, the left hook is hurt again. Oh, huge elbow! A lot of top 
pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, big head kick there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Well, missed on that one. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Back and forth we go. All right, so that calf is starting to bruise up. We'll keep an eye on it. He's got to check now, because if he doesn't, his leg is going to be so... He's not going to be able to move. He's going to be in real trouble. Just out of range with that left hook. Top pressure being applied here. Nice. Back to his feet. Just out of range with the big right hand. DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just... Oh! Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. Oh! What an absolutely crazy knockout here. And that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on one of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bianchi!
Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times he hoped for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Congrats.